Well, if you were to write a memoir, what would you be, what would you call it? I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've written 22 cookbooks and I always tell, you know, my cookbooks are really more the story of my life and all of the head notes, I've already, you know, done that. And I talk a lot. Nobody would buy a memoir of mine because they know everything already. So, <laughs> yawn. Yeah. It's great. Thank yeah. you so much. Sure. My God, you are the hottest audience like ever. Hi, Rachel. Hi, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, Beyonce called. She wants to look bad. <laughs> what cheers you up when you're having a bad day? Food and wine and my <laughs> husband and my dog and my mother. Um, I am made happy again by little stupid things. Big socks, putting on my pajamas, taking my bra off. I mean, you know, <laughs> I set my bar very low. Um, my grandfather, if I would come home, you can imagine I'm a girl and I'm a little Italian girl, so I would sometimes come home and get very over dramatic. And my grandpa lived with us when I was a little kid. And if I would come home crying or whining about something that was frivolous, my grandfather would literally tickle me until I was choking and laugh in my face <laughs> until I had such a fit and I got so exhausted crying that I had to give in and just start laughing. And the, the, the importance of the lesson is if you have 10 fingers, 10 toes, and later in life, a job, you have nothing to complain about, so shut up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And it is so funny to be in, in, in a house with all of us if, if my mom and my sister and myself were together, because one minute we'll be screaming, you know, blah, 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 and then literally 30 seconds later, we're giggling and drinking, and you know, we just, we like, we're volatile people. We do get angry, but we, we really prefer to laugh rather than to cry. So we always end up laughing in the end. Yes. Hi, Rachel. Okay, so if your kitchen was on fire, what three items would you grab? Uh, uh, a, a big old cast iron pot that, you know, my mom gave me that is like my favorite pot. Um, I would uh, grab my kitchen knives because my husband had them specially made for me um, by a guy, uh, a motorcycle uh, artist, actually. He builds uh, really cool choppers. He made my knives for me and they have uh, black diamonds in the, in the handles. He gave them to me for my 40th birthday and uh, then it's a toss up between the first thing I designed for the kitchen, which is the oval spaghetti pot, because spaghetti is long, people, or my garbage bowl. Oh. <laughs> Who's next? This is fun, it's like super cheap therapy. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi there. Um, what is the weirdest experience you've had in a grocery store? Uh, jeez. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, lots of people will come up to me and say, I really love your food, except for that one recipe. What else could I use instead of this or that? People often ask me what aisle things are on, um, and, and, I, and I, I try and take them there. Um, I think the most awkward, though, I've ever felt, and I'm always happy to help people and chat with people, I think, um, oh, one time I got yelled at by the guy in the store because I told people on air to knock off the stems of portobellas because they're too tough to use for anything and you're getting overcharged. <laughs> it's like, you're telling people to steal. And I was like, all right, I'm still not taking the stems when I take those <laughs> um, But like the most awkward I've ever felt is like being in a toilet and a woman literally handed me the phone underneath the stall and said, to grab the phone and say hi to her grandma. <laughs> Thank you.